Hi, my name is Philip and I'd just like to do a quick uh, demonstration of some software that I've created for uh, message taking. Um, so if you're a call center and you want to send messages to clients, um, this software will allow you to do that. Um, in order to use this software you will have to use uh, Trixbox and have iSymphony installed and uh, the client installed on a computer and edit the um, call pop-up um, bit within the administration console. So to use the software all we do is we add a client I'm just going to um, type in um, client's name the mess uh, the email address that you want messages to go to or the that client wants to go to so we'll just have uh, messages at p-web.co.uk and we need to assign them a DDI uh, this is the number that they're going to divert to and that uh, the system's going to recognize as an incoming call to pop the relevant script so that an agent can take the call and uh, pass on the details to the client so we'll just do 555 we'll add the client so as you can see here this client has now been added and all the information has now been stored in the database so if we list all clients you can now see that my new client is sat there. Uh, what we can now do is we can um, edit this client so we can edit the client's name, the address that messages are going to, uh, the assigned DDI for this client uh, we could also from here test a script if there was one um, associated at the moment there's no script associated for this client so we're just going to get not entered yet um, we can now go back and list all clients uh, from here we can um, list any messages that were taken from this client uh, but it's a new client so there's not any for this client but on uh, this one that I've created earlier we can see that uh, there's loads of messages that have been put through for this client and uh, we can from here we can resend them so we can click on that link and it will bring you up uh, one of your emails and then you just click send and it will send it to resend it to that client um, as of recording this I'm currently making changes to the system so when you click this link it will take you to the form and then from the form you click send and it does it all from within the system so let's go and list uh, all clients again um, what we can do from here again we can uh, edit the script that's associated with this client so you can see the very simple HTML code um, that makes up this uh, script at the bottom and we can test it directly from there and also what we can do is we can view uh, the total invoice or an, an amount that this client currently owes so at the minute there's six messages that's been taken uh, the cost for this message is 88p per message um, the monthly fee is £12 and the total invoice is £17.28 um, what we could do is we could then send this to the client um, in your own um, invoicing system um, again as of writing this I'm currently making a module so that there's an invoice here that you can just click send and it sends it to the client or you can send it to the printer um, but that's as I'm writing this um, that will be done so we can also delete um, the client directly from here so we can click on delete it says deleted we can go back and list clients and they're no longer there um, as I said we can edit the client test the script that's associated with that client um, delete that client test the script um, list all messages that's been taken for the client uh, edit the script and we can see the um, amount that this client owes currently uh, we can also on this icon we can also edit the system uh, defaults so you'd enter your company name there the an email address you want to be copied into uh, 
you would ideally do this so that you can see you know, all messages that are being taken. Um, if you use um, anything other than the index.php page, you can change that here and also where you want the messages to go from. And that can all be updated and uh, customized based on your company. Uh, so if we list all clients again, um, I'll just also quickly show you the uh, emails that go to the client. So let me just send and receive some emails that I sent earlier. And there we go. So we have um, this is what will get sent to the client at the bottom. It will say thank you for using your messaging service. Uh, that will get replaced by your name if you edit the system config. Um, so yep. Yeah, um, I'll quickly also just show you at the top here in the address bar what, um, when you integrate this into your telephone system uh, the two fields that you're going to need to make sure you can pop with are the uh, the DDI um, so if you're using Trixbox this is not a problem you just add a um, a manager and then use something like Ast Assistant or um, iSymphony. I would recommend using iSymphony um, because it will show you the status of your telephone system and it will also allow um, call popping or screen popping such as this. So you would uh, in your system you would put the um, variables of uh, DDI there and CLI there and then this will pop the relevant script for the relevant um, client. So, for example, there's the DDI um, for this client that's associated with it. If that was a real number, you'd be able to call that and it would automatically pop on the screen and an agent can then read this out to the client and then send a message at the end of this. So, if I just do one uh, quickly. and please call regarding buffaloes and we can then send this to the client and we can see at the minute this is in debug mode so we can see that uh, that's the message that's gone to the client uh, once I've finish the script all of these uh, messages will not appear it will just say the message has been sent to the client please close the web page and we can double check that that's gone to the client by clicking on list calls and it's at the top there as the uh, last call that was uh, taken um, for this account um, if we go back to my email we should see in my inbox that that email has been sent to me so there we go calling regarding buffaloes um, and that's uh, basically it thank you for watching